OK, now it's over to Mark, who doesn't need a diffuser to make things smell good. It's all usually down to his cooking um, and quite a unique combination, sausage and peppers. <laughs> yeah, well, we're stuffing the peppers. Mm -hmm. but it's it's going to be really easy because we're just going to use all the flavoured um, Italian uh, sausages. Beautiful. So we take them out of the cases, we fry that off, we've got lots of vegetables in there. We're going to bulk it out with some brown, uh, brown rice and then just bake it in these beautiful uh, peppers. Fresh nice on the work. market. Oh. OK, an Italian book coming up soon, Italian sausages. There you go. Mamma mia. Great to have you with us in the Beko kitchen. And Mark, we're making stuffed peppers, just to sum it up nicely. <laughs> yeah, we are. You want anything you know, stuffed, you come to me, because I usually <laughs> stuff it up. But anyway, uh, you're going to lead us. Right, what yeah, do we need to do is, first? So this is really easy. You know, to, to make it even simpler and to get the flavour in there, you know, we're just going to use some nice flavoured Italian sausages. Mm, beautiful. So all you got to do, just uh, do a nice incision over the skin, pull it off, and then you're just left with all the sausage meat, and then I'm going to eat to fry them off now. OK, cool. Sweet. So I a bit of oil. That. So, and as you're cooking it, you want to break down that meat as well. Okay, oh, okay so, so you, like so, mince meat. Yeah, 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 yeah okay, cool. Like mince. Right, and then we've got okay. some vegetables as well. So this is all going to be the fill-in. Mm -hmm. So we've got a little bit of courgette. So I'm just going to dice all this up whilst we're cooking the um, sausage meat. And then once the meat comes out and it's all cooked, we'll pop that in a bowl, and then we're going to sauté our vegetables off. Okay. So remember, we still want a little bit of texture on there. We've got a little bit of garlic as well, which we're going to pop in. So, you yeah, know, we're just getting a nice... A nice selection of ingredients, you know, seasonal ingredients, what we've got at the moment. And then we've got these beautiful peppers. You can use the normal ones as, uh, if you want, you know, the bell peppers. But these are like little sweetie ones, so a little bit more sort of sweetness. Love these. These are great on the barbecue. But we're just going to cut them down the centre. Yeah, I've never, I've never worked with those before, so you show us how to get them ready. That'll be good. Well, just cut them in half. Oh, great. There you go. You come to the right show. <laughs> no, that's, <laughs> that's how easy it is. You know, and then just, you know... Scoop them? Yeah, just, yep. just scoop it out, you know. Just be rough and ready, you know. It's, it's great, you know. And you've got all that um, cavity there to fill it with the stuffing. Nice. We've got cheese in the stuffing, we've got some oregano, we've got some parsley in there. You know, we've got lots of herbs going on, lots of flavours, all those classic Italian flavours. And I've got some brown rice in here, which is just cooking. Um, so when that's cooked as well, we'll mix that through and it's just going to give you a bit more substance. It's so using great. the sausages this way... Yeah. Really helps, I guess, so you don't have to get your mince meat in there and put all the herbs and spices in. You just yeah, exactly. get the sausage, it's a, take the skin off. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a lot faster process, you know. It's, um, yeah, like you said, you know, you've got all the flavours in there as well, so it's, it's all ready to go. You know, if you want to, you can do it with the mince. Um, and then you can just put more flavours in or any flavours you want, you know. OK. All right. Too busy breaking down and not cooking, but I'm getting there, Mark. I'm getting there. <laughs> How's okay. it going? You, well, I'm getting there. I feel like I need a bigger spoon, though, but... Does it, go, does it look one, like it's supposed to? Uh, or should it be minced texture? Yes, yeah, sort of. OK, cool. I'll keep breaking you know, down. No, keep, keep doing it. Keep browning it and keep um, keep breaking it down, you know? Once it's cooked, it'll sort of break down a little All bit right, more. Cool. OK, and what are, you, what are you up to now? All right, so I've got some courgette there. I've got some um, onion in there, a little bit of celery as well. And then what you want to do is just sort of dice it, roughly dice it, but get it all the same sort of size. OK, so when we cook it after... It's all going to sort of cook at the same time, um, you know, and we'll get that nice texture. Nice. Yeah. Right, and I'll get the uh, I get the peppers ready. I'll just get everything ready whilst you play around with your sausages. <laughs> <laughs> while I play around with my sausage. Oops, I'm losing some. Okay. Right. No, it's smelling good though. So this it's is good. Italian sausage. Yeah, you, you've, yeah, you've got that instant flavour, you know, and you could. I mean, you know, it's really easy, and and this is what I sell to people as well. You know, like recipes, use them as a guideline. And, right. you know, something like this, like stuffed peppers, I mean, stuff them with whatever you want. You right, know? so you don't have to have Italian sausage. No, no, you? no, but you can, I mean, you don't even have to have meat in there as well. You, you know, you just do a nice right. uh, mix of all vegetables in there, you've got the cheese to bind it, you've got the herbs in there, mm -hmm. you know, every, everything you want. And then we've got a little, really quick, fast tomato sauce, which we're going to put in the um, baking tray when we pop them in the oven and bake. So it's all going to bake together and you get this nice, beautiful, rich sauce as well with it. Nice. Packed full of flavour and really, really easy. OK, so the rice is underway. Rice is on. The veggies are chopped, the sausage is cooking, so we'll come back. These sausages will be cooked by the time Holly's got to do what she has to do, and we will see the second part of this recipe very soon. We need to get stuffing because you, while um, Holly was talking, you softened up the veggies and you finished off the sausages. Yeah, yeah I finished the sausage, so that just goes in a bowl. Yeah, veggies just go in, same pan, toss them around, just so they soften slightly. You don't want to cook them too much, so that's probably that's probably good. Okay, so what have you got? Celery, onion, celery, onions, courgette, courgette bit of garlic in there as well. Nice, and the, the rice. Vegetables. Rice is cooked, so we just drained it off. off. Yep. Uh, so brown rice. It's quite nice, gives mm. a nice bit of texture. Get that in there, so you can give that a nice stir around. Okay, cool. Give it a nice bit of seasoning. Mm-hmm. Yum. Got some um, dried oregano. 
and okay. some Parmesan cheese in there oh, to get all that in there. Yeah. So mix it all around. Okay. Yeah. And then what we want to do is we're going to know. Well, we're going to chop some parsley as well. I don't forget the parsley. Oh, yeah, don't forget the parsley. Mm. <laughs> okay, this is smelling incredible. Nice and quick too, I think, isn't it? By the yeah, time yeah. you've got your veggies done and your sausage cooked, it's just yeah, exactly. a matter of mixing and stuffing, really. Yeah, really, really quick. Right, can of tomatoes as well. So just crushed tomatoes. So this is a really simple sauce, and it's just going to give us flavour and it's going to help sort of steam and bake um, the peppers. Uh, and then we want to got a splash of balsamic vinegar in there. Yeah. And a little pinch of sugar. Okay. And I put a little uh, bit of salt and pepper in there. Mm -hmm. Give that a stir around. And then you can start stuffing your peppers. Look at that. Okay. Right. So, pepper. Time to stuff. Mix. Yes. And then just pop it in. Any tips for stuffing? Do not overflow? No, no. Pack it in there. Pack it in. Yeah, you okay, want heaps cool. of it. You want to, yeah, build it. Build it out, you know. I guess it doesn't matter if it's, you know, spilling over the sides. It's all good. No, no. If you if you let this mixture cool down slightly, you know, it will stick together a little bit more. Okay, it'll pack down easier. Yeah. Oh, I see what you're doing. Pop it oh, on nice. there, you know, Maybe give it cool. give it a little um, push so it all sort of stays on there. Mm -hmm. And then we've got some mozzarella cheese as well. Oh. And we're just going to put that on the top. So do that to all the other peppers, stick them in, pop them in there, and then you probably want to put it in an oven, probably about 160, 170 for about sort of 25, 30 okay. minutes or so. You oh, just want yeah. it all to bake together, cheese is going to melt, and you're going to cook that pepper as well. Oh. You know, you still want it to hold its shape but it just wants to sort of soften a bit and it's gonna get all those flavors from the sausage on one side, from the tomato on the other side. It's gonna be fantastic. Oh well, yeah, okay, nice. This one's quite tricky to fill in the holes, but I think that's good. Oh no, want some more on it? Let's yeah, put get some, some more, more on it. But you know, don't be too tight. Okay. <laughs> you know, otherwise you'll just have a pepper, you won't have a stuffed pepper. Just, yeah, a pepper with a little bit of flavor. <laughs> Not a stuffed pepper. Okay, so that's just it. put it in the... Yeah, yeah, pop it in that. Yep. You know. There you go. And your cheese. Some, yeah, some cheese on top. Mm. And there you go. And then that's just going to go in the oven. It's, so it's really simple, you know? And you can get this ready, you know, ahead of time and then just pop it in the oven before you want it for tea, you know? No, because I've stuffed capsicums before, but I've never put them in a base of liquid. So that is a really handy tip. And, and what does that do? It helps with the cooking or just enhance the pepper flavour? Well, yeah, it's, it's going to sort of, it's going to give it steam and it's going to cook it as well. And nice. it's going to reduce down and give you a little bit of uh, moisture in there as well. A little bit of sauce. Absolutely brilliant. And yeah. the parsley in this mixture really added a bit of a zing to it, didn't it? <laughs> <Yeah>. Which <laughs> I nearly forgot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to get these peppers in the oven. Beautiful. Look at these. Nice and glazed. Oh. You've got that sauce which has just come down. Oh. Oh, beautiful. Just absolutely fantastic. I'm trying to make it look pretty now. That's fine. It looks and smells delicious. What would you serve these with? Or so just I, re like that? I reckon, you know, serve these. Nice salad on the side. Oh. Beautiful. Nice and sort of... But it's a vegetable. We don't need to put any more salad. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing green on it. <laughs> uh, true. <laughs>